Hey guys, welcome back to art class. Um, so today will be the last video of the recorded videos. From here on out, um, art will be live in person if you are going to be at school. If you are not going to be at school, art will be on Zoom, um, but it will be live. So there's gonna be no more recordings, okay? Um, so for today, we are going to be drawing a panda bear. Um, and so here's an example of what it will look like. It's kind of bright. Um, so I'm gonna do a direct to draw and show you guys how to do the panda. So why a panda? Um, so first of all, I want to just point out that art and science do go together very well. Um, so we're gonna learn a little bit about pandas. So first of all, here's a couple facts about pandas. So pandas are very good at hiding. So like their black and white fur allows them to hide in certain spots that keeps them away from, like it keeps predators away. So predators are something that would get the panda. Um, at just five months old, pandas can learn how to climb. So five months old and they can already climb trees. Um, they spend a lot of their day eating bamboo. They need bamboo to survive. And sometimes they do handstands. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so, Getting started with our panda drawing, here we go. So go ahead and grab your art supplies, grab your paper and your pencil to start. And then if you need, if you have a black marker, you're gonna want that for the last part of this. And then crayons or markers, colors for the background. Okay. So the first thing that you guys are going to draw is going to be your head of your panda. And this is just gonna be kind of like an oval uh, more of a laying down oval. Okay, once you have that, <clears throat> you are going to draw the ears of your panda, and these are gonna be big circles attached to the top, just like that. Okay, next we're gonna do the eyes. So panda's eyes are pretty big. You're gonna do one on each side. So this panda is going to be what we call symmetrical. So symmetrical means if I were to draw a line right down the middle here, it is the exact same on both sides. Okay, once you have that, you're gonna draw another circle on the inside of that one. And then one more tiny one on the inside. And it's going to look kind of weird right now because it's not shaded in yet. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to shade in the middle circle. So shade in just means color in with your pencil. Just use your pencil for now to color it in like that. Okay, so the middle, the medium size circle is the one that you're going to color in or shade in with your pencil. Okay. And that's it for the eyes for now. You're gonna move down to the nose and the nose is just an upside down triangle like that. And then attached is like their little mouth. Okay, we're gonna go back up to the head and do the black parts of the face a little bit later. So for the next step, we're gonna be doing the arms of the panda. So connecting from the head here, you're gonna draw a line, kind of looping around just like that. Same thing on the other side. So remember when something is symmetrical, what you do to one side, you have to do to the other the same way. Doesn't have to be perfect, just try your best. Okay, so our panda has two arms here. Next, on this side of the arm, you're gonna draw their little foot. And this is just gonna be an oval. Okay, so this is actually gonna make it look like your panda is sitting down. So one oval on each side. Those are their little feet sticking out. Underneath is their belly. 
draw a little curve there. All right. And then um, I'm going to connect my arms all the way to the top, to the head. And then I'm going to draw a line right here across. And that's just going to show where, where we're supposed to color it. Okay. Now, I want you guys to draw a line in your background on both sides of your panda. And that's just going to show where the ground is. So all down here is the ground that the panda is sitting on. And then all up here is the sky. Okay. So next thing is going to be your colors. Now, obviously, if you don't want to color this in black and white, you don't have to. You can use colors. It can be a colorful panda if you want. But I am going to show how to do the black and white part only because the part around the eyes is what really does make them look more like a panda. Um, so first of all, I'm going to outline first just to show where everything goes. And I just kind of like colored right over that shaded part that I did with the black. Okay. So everything I drew in pencil, I just outlined real quick. Okay, and then the next part is going to be the little black outline of the eyes. So what you're going to do is you're going to start up here by the ear. And you're just going to go around like that. And you're going to just color that all in black. Okay, same thing on the other side. And then coloring it all in black. Also, this could work with crayons or colored pencils as well. Okay, and then other parts of the panda that are black, their ears. And again, if you're not going to use black, you don't have to. You can do this a different color if you want it to be a colorful panda. And then basically the whole rest of the body is going to be black except for the little belly in here is going to stay white and then the little paws. So for the paws, you're going to do a, an oval on there and then three circles. So an oval and then three circles and then all in between would be shaded in black or colored in black, but then those little paws would stay white. So then I'm going to color in nice and neat. part here under his neck is also black, but then this is going to stay white. Okay, so that is it for the drawing of your panda. The other thing I might add is just because I said in some of our, fa our facts about pandas is they love to eat bamboo. That's one of the things that keeps them alive. Um, they snack on bamboo all day, so I would maybe draw some bamboo in my picture, kind of like my final one here. Maybe you draw like tons of bamboo all around the background, however you guys want it to be. Um, but that is it for your panda. I hope you guys had a good time. I hope that um, I see you guys soon in person, okay? All right, have a good rest of your day. Bye!